absolutely no idea that these have a stainless core. Do you know? So let's compare, shall we? Couple of caveats and disclaimers before we start the direct comparison. This is my needle case in which I store my cables. They are not really protected in any way. They are, you know, at the mercy of pressure from the needles. Is it an ideal way to store things? I don't know. It doesn't seem to be a problem for some of my cables, but we'll find out where it is a problem. So I wanted to contextualize some of the damage that I'm going to be talking about could very well have come from here. Other thing I want to caveat is the lantern moon cables, the stainless core lantern moons, I just wind up like this and shove them into that pouch. But the Chiaogus, I do store like this. I do twist them around each other for the very simple reason that they don't mind. They don't seem to mind. It hasn't been a problem in the years I've been using it. And I think this is because of the fact that on the Chiaogu tips, the screw is on that side. And so the join can be significantly smaller than on Lantern Moon, Knit Pro, Knitter's Pride, Luka, and all of the other compatibles with these where the screw is on the cable side. And because the screw is on the cable side, this has to be quite a bit bigger. Otherwise, you know, it, 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 it's going to break off and that would be obviously less than ideal. People would complain. So this one, I do not twist around each other. I probably could, but I don't just for, I, I, it doesn't feel right. This I do. And this is not the cable I'm bearing. This is too short. Anyway, you get the point. They're, they're all like this, the Chiaogus. So disclaimers out of the way. Let's talk about the differences here. We have the Lantern Moon are the silver ones, the Chiaogu are the red ones, and the blue ones are the Mindful. And you might notice something straight away, which is that both the Lantern Moon and the Chiaogu really don't have any memory at all. They are just draping into a nice, graceful arc. Which is not exactly true of the mindfuls. There is some awkward, awkward bending going on that is an indication. What is it an indication of? I don't actually know. But it is an indication of something. Because we have very gentle arcs on these, on two of them. And on, of course, on these two, because of the clear plastic coating, you can very, very clearly see that the cable inside is a braided steel cable. It's that, it looks like a twisty barber pole kind of a thing instead of just a thin piece of metal. The mindful cables, we don't know. Now, I did email mindful, or knit, knit, I, I emailed Knitter's Pride, that's who I emailed to find out what the material is, because on the web, some retailers say that it has a stainless core, some retailers do not. And I didn't know which was true, so I asked them. And I got an email back, and it said that they have a stainless core. They did not specify the type of stainless core or anything beyond that. If we want to do the bendy test, and I do the bendy test even though I don't think it actually gives me any information whatsoever. <laughs> But it, it feels like it should. It feels like if I knew more about this, that maybe the bendy test is going to give me some, some good information. I'm getting eh, just about the same amount of bend, although when I then unbend it, I have just bent it right there on the camera. So that's a thing. Let's, let me make sure. Let's make sure we're doing this in an area that has no, this area seems to have no weird bends. So if I do this and I keep going, the Chiaogu is giving me more resistance and pulling apart. This one is staying closer together for longer. Okay, I, I don't know if that really did much of anything in terms of this. So the behavior is slightly different. When I, when I do the bendy test on the Chiaogu versus the 
they're mindful, they behave in basically the same way, right? They're sort of, oops, you know, but they're flopping in the same direction. They're behaving when, when unflopped in the same way, which isn't surprising because obviously the visual is telling me that they have the same structural thing. I think the coating is a little bit thicker on the Chiaogu's. It feels slightly more plasticky sort of like a more Play-Doh-y, that's, that's not really a word, but there, there's a, there is a different feel on the two. And the Chiaogu, if I actually am putting my fingers like this, the Chiaogu is a little bit thicker, feels a little thicker, that, that I don't have calipers, I can't do an actual measurement, but it feels ever so slightly thicker. And when we add this to the mix, let's see, that, that, that those feel about the same. Well, maybe a little bit, a little bit thinner on the mindful. But again, this is not a precision test. If if I if someone has a pair of calipers, they want to send me, I'll happy happily caliper these for you, and we can find out the actual gauge. But all I can do is do the feel test for the moment. So for what that's worth, they feel ever so slightly thinner, and they behave in a slightly different way. Nothing, nothing egregious. Nothing, you know, nothing crazy. Just. A slightly different behavior when you're flinging them around. Um, in terms of using them, anyone who has watched my previous stainless core showdown video will know that the thing that I loved the most about the lantern moon cable was, was that when I am using them they never get in my way. I simply don't notice them, which to me is, is ideal. I don't want to think about my cables. I want to think about my knitting. I want to think about the stitches I'm forming. I want to think about, you know, the music I'm listening to. I don't want to be thinking about the cables. Um, these, the mindfuls, I do have to think about slightly. Ever so slightly. It's not nearly as much as this where it feels like all you're thinking about is the cable <laughs> and getting it out of your way. This, this is not so bad. Big step up from this to me, for my money, not nearly as good as this. The other thing that you might notice, aside from the bends, are the joins. It is not what I would call in line anymore. It is a little bit bent on both sides. Now, this is not the case for the short one that I have. And this is part of the reason why I gave you the context to begin with. This is not the case for the tiny one that I have. You can see that is, there are no weird bends here. So that could very well be a storage thing. It could also be a my way of knitting thing because I am a flicker. I am levering one of my needles when I knit. So if this had a thing on, the, the needle levers, I mean the needle is the thing in my hand, but that pressure could cause this. So that might not happen to you. I, I have no way of knowing. All I know for sure is that that is a little bendy. And I don't want to mess with it too much because I don't really want to break it because I don't have any, I don't have quite enough yet. But I'm having a hard time. This is also a swivel tip. So it, it, when I go to bend it, it's swiveling in my hands, which is, I don't know. If I had tools, if I care, I don't really care. It doesn't bother me, but it is something that has happened, right? So again, these are just things that I am noticing when I am knitting them. Because of all of these things, I am slowly replacing. I have a lot of these, mostly because I really like the swivel. And part of the reason I like this swivel is that this barber cord nonsense is not for me. If you like them, right on. I don't, you can like whatever you want to like. I don't like them. It's too fiddly because I would, I would yank. I am, I'm not always a delicate human being. I would yank because I think, oh, I can yank because, and then I would end up pulling them and I'd have to spend 10 minutes picking up all the stitches that I, I dropped. I have cord connectors. So all I have to do, if imagine that my knitting is on this, all I have to do is unscrew a needle tip, screw on a cord connector, screw on another cord, 
and yank it through and I don't have to think about it. I'm not worried about stitches dropping and it takes me, you know, 12 seconds. So for my money, I would sooner do that and I don't have to have another object around that I have to carry and use and whatever. Um, they probably are really good for if you're, if you're bathing. The one thing that bothers me is if you decide to block something, keeping the metal ends out of the water while not distorting a sweater can be kind of a pain. So they could actually be very useful for blocking. But I'm digressing. We're not talking about that. We're talking about stainless steel cords. So we've got the weird bend here and Again, I think it'll be easier if I do something like this, right? Where you can see, let's make it fair, you can see that that's not, yeah, straight. There is very definitely one bend right there in the center, and it's something over here as well that's preventing it from, from being sort of in line, right? So I am getting bending on these cords. Now, I don't know for sure, because I, I did not ask a follow-up, and I have not yet cut one of these open, but because of the behavior of this cord, I am wondering if it might be a stainless steel core, but not a braided steel. So just a filament kind of a situation would account for this behavior. But it might not. I, I, I honestly don't know. And when I'm looking at it with now, I, there's a very bright light on top of the camera. And so it's hard to tell whether what I'm looking at is a reflection. But it does. I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I could be just hallucinating. That could just be the outside of the plastic. Because no, that's not. It's impossible for me to tell whether that is the outside of the plastic or there could in fact be a braided situation going on inside of there. Which is interesting. So I could be totally wrong. I, I, I honestly don't know if I'm having a visual hallucination at the moment. <laughs> whether that is with the, now that I have this egregiously bright light in my face, um, which is therefore egregiously bright through what plastic there is. It is impossible for me to say, I got, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to cut one of these open. I got to know. But not now because I don't have enough. So if this is indeed a braided steel cable, then I am very curious to find out why this one is having substantially more problems than this one in terms of, you know, things being in line. I have used this for longer, but this has happened to, I have a bunch of these. I only have two in my case at the moment, but I do have a bunch of these. Um, and, and I have the, I have these problems on all of them. And I have, again, I'm seeing some distortion through right here. Yeah. And I definitely have not used all of them equally, right? Because I think I have six of these in various sizes. Um, it hasn't happened to the arm one, and I use, this is actually, that's my favorite arm cable. So this, of all of the mindfuls, I'm sure this one has the most use because this is my preferred cable for knitting sleeves. So despite, and I don't have a shorty cable of the Lantern Moons yet, so, I have knit this with the mindfuls. I've knit this with my old plastics. I've used these on, on basically every sweater I've had since I got them. And they are not distorting in any way. So is that useful information? I, I don't know. Time will tell to a certain extent. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to wait for an extra year or two because I think these have only been out for two or three, 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 maybe three or four years, maybe three or four years. These I've only had for a year. So we'll do a follow up video in like two years if I'm still on YouTube. 
<laughs> and, and find out for sure. But I feel, and I have absolutely no evidence of this, but I do feel like this has been a thing since I've had them. So, for what it's worth. I mean, in any case, should you be going out and replacing all of your cables? Probably not. You don't need to. Um, if you have disposable income and you want to, you know, do whatever you want. Buy and then use these for when you're trying things on or for leaving garments on that, you know, if you have lots of whips. I don't have lots of whips, but I know some people do. So, you know, how, however you choose to go about that. Is the difference big enough? Is the difference big enough that you should run out and buy these now? Probably not. Is the difference big enough that every now and again I'm buying another couple of these? Yes. These to me, as I said in the last one, these to me are almost identical. If you are in love with the Chiaogu cables, I think that you will be in love with the Lantern Moon cables. If you are in love with the Chiaogu cables, you will not necessarily be in love with the Mindful cables. They're better than the original old school, memory filled, never seems to uncoil plastic of the good old days. They are a huge step up above that, but they are not something I would consider a direct replacement for this. Ooh, did I bend that? No. Now I'm, I'm just seeing things at this point. Now I'm seeing things, so we're going to end this video right here. Thanks for taking the time to geek out with me about knitting tools, knitting cables, and uh, see you later.